All right, let's go left to right. Uh, if only I noticed sooner, Ibuki might have been saved. Hey, when did you realize Ibuki was missing? Um, after leaving Nagi to his room, I went to the on-call room. That's when it came to me. They should go check on how everyone in the hospital is doing. One more time before I go to sleep. <laughs> and so I went to the patient rooms and go to set Ibuki was gone. So, I quickly ran out of the hospital. So that's what happened. Then, I saw Fuyuhiko in front of the hospital. So I asked her if he could help me look for Ibuki. Huh? That reminds me, where were you? I thought you were resting in the lobby. That is a long story. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not like I told you or anything! There's no way I told you because we've been together since this morning. God, my voice is breaking to try to voice her. Right. We were together until you went to the on-call room. That's right. We were together until just a little before the morning Monokuma announcement. So I don't doubt you. I'm telling the truth. Um, is it alright if I continue with my autopsy? If you talk to me again later, I'll tell you what I know. So please, spare my life at least! What happened to not doubting me? Mikon's account. Alright. Alright, uh, let's see if we can figure out what's going on with the... I'm confused. What is Mikon's account? Uh... Uh, her, part of that was cutting it out for me. Her alibi. Yeah, let's, I'm, I'm going to try to figure out the uh, the thing. Yeah, I'm honestly not sure what she said either. Alright. Sonia. I forgot she does that. It has happened once again. Two of my cherished friends died at the same time. I cannot believe it. Really? Who else died? I just see Ibuki and Hyoko. This is the place where Ibuki sang for Fuyuhiko. Hyoko... It's like she was having so much fun listening to her music. And now those two are no longer here. Ah, such a tragedy. I understand how you feel, but please get a hold of yourself. Two of our friends were killed. That's all the more reason why we can't just leave this alone, right? We must do this then, for the sake of the two who have fallen. Yeah, it's occurring to me that I voice basically everyone now. <laughs> Mm, I still got one, two. Hey, Hajime, take a look at this. Hmm? What? What's in front of the door? This is a drumstick, right? It looks like it's broken. What happened to it? If something like that is in front of the door. You think it might be a really big clue? Why would this be a clue? Remember when we came to the music venue? If it won't open, the only thing we do is force our way through. Tattoos, girls, open it. What was that noise? What noise? Me getting into the stream, I uh, guess. Go. The door was locked when we tried to go inside, and the four of us charged into the door. When I examined it, I found out that this door doesn't have a lock at all. Huh? The door is designed to be pushed open. This is the shape of the handle. A stick was used to bar the door here. Well, don't you think we'd lock the door and keep it from opening? I mean, you think this drumstick was used to lock the door? Are drumsticks really that strong? Uh, depending on what they're made of. Broken drumstick on the floor in front of the door should be proof of that. And how was the killer able to get out? Huh? I mean, the music venue doesn't even have windows. This door is the only entrance. If they locked the door from the inside, the killer wouldn't be able to escape outside. Maybe. The killer was still inside when we broke the door to the music van. And he waited until we were already at the scene of the crime to join us? You know, don't they use tricks like that in a lot of mystery dramas and stuff? If that's the case, there might be evidence of that around here somewhere. Alright, I'm definitely gonna find it. I won't let the killer get away with this. Question. Answer. Didn't, did you already have an idea who the person was? Oh yeah, and I'm still sticking by it. Wasn't your, um... Is it possible for that to work with whoever it was? Uh, so, to clarify, uh, it's Mekon that I'm thinking. Yeah. Because of various things. A, she pre actively prevented us from going to check on Ibuki. 
Uh, B, she's been around Ibuki, Nagito, and the other... Akane for a while, and she, so she might have caught the despair disease. Uh, Hyoko's... Uh, as E pointed out, Hyoko's kimono was tied in such a way that basically is done in the way that prostitutes do it, which seems like something Mikon would do as payback for, her, for Hyoko calling her a slut all the time. And... Also, the fact that <clears throat> uh, she was the one usually around Ibuki to begin with, and we know Ibuki would do whatever she was told. Ooh, what? Was yeah, I, I heard that. <laughs> what was that? Lightning. Wait, you got rain over thunder. there? Huh? You got rain over there? Uh, we did a bit ago. It's not raining now, but apparently it's still lightning. Yeah, I, that happens sometimes, and it's really weird. But anyway, yeah, those four things are the reason why I'm still thinking it's Mekon. Admittedly, I am seeing some stuff where it's, I don't know how to put it together, but I have not yet seen anything that fully contradicts it being Mekon. It's entirely possible... Well, no, because Ibuki was already dead. Hmm. Maybe there might be another way out of, of here, possibly. Blech. Killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music venue, huh? Like you said, that might be possible, but... I heard what you two were discussing. Why are you do Why are you doing the Genos incinerate pose? Stop. Chucky time. Chucky? That was a kind of cool entrance. Besides the broken drumstick, I've also discovered something interesting. What is it? Look, there's a weird glob right where the right and left door touch, see? The, the fuck? <laughs> You're right. It's slime or slime, but more accurately, it's probably just super dope. Right, what is this? It looks too firm to think it's rubber. Yeah, it doesn't look like rubber, but... As she said that, Shaki bent down, scraped off the semi-transparent glob with her finger, and ate it. Oh my god, I was joking! <laughs> I was no. joking! <laughs> I was joking! <laughs> say it, Rhino, say it. I already did in the middle of all that. We'll say it again. No. <laughs> Why are you putting it in your mouth? Hmm. Oh, it's poison. Falls over dead. <laughs> Uh, it smells like workshop chemicals. What the fuck? Feed your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're about to have a third corpse. <laughs> workshop. And this chewiness. I see. This thing may be a glove now, but it doesn't mean it was a glove from the start. Chiaki Connery. For instance, if it was originally a liquid that hardened into this, it might be possible to apply it directly and smoothly in the gaps of the door. What are you talking about? And why do you still have it in your mouth? <laughs> okay, good. Just as I thought, it tastes nasty. Shaki spat the glove out of her mouth and left the area. What the fuck? Give me a moment, I think my phone's ringing. <laughs> oh, wait, they hung up. Besides that bit about the taste, it's okay to consider this some kind of clue, right? Chiaki spit. <laughs> okay, no, I'm sorry, but I just gotta... I know Chiaki's been a bit quirky, but... <laughs> hmm, there's something here. Stuff's in mouth. Hmm, kind of smells like workshop chemicals. It's chewy. Also, it tastes bad. Blah! <laughs> she wasn't inaccurate. <laughs> 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 Alright, with this, we might be close to finishing investigating Jack the music. a bit more over there than we thought. <laughs> I still need to talk to Mikon. I need to make sure I get those autopsy results from her. I'm going to talk to Akane and Gundam first, though. They probably won't have any clues, but... Hey, are you okay? You still not feeling well? Uh, yeah, I don't really get it, but... When I think about Nekomaru, it's like my knees start shaking. That's called love. That's weird. 
There's no way I've got that kind of weakness. It'll, it'd probably go away if I battled a strong dude, but not here. Nakamaru will definitely come back, and he will see your new Ahoge. Actually, no, you've had that the whole time. That was no. That's not new. Yeah, I, I realize. Uh, all of a sudden, I realized, no, you've always had that. I think I just now realized it's an Ahoge. It's just a really big one, which I think means it's not an Ahoge by definition. <laughs> You're right. Uh, I'm trying to... No, I tried... I tried to click on Gundam! Okay, what is this... Sorry, I'm just seeing this. What are these, like... It looks like light or, like, transparent Who keeps cube? calling me? I got two different calls from the same person. What the hell? If you want to pick it up, go ahead. No, I missed them already. But apparently one was from 44 minutes ago and one's just now. Hmm. <laughs> Did you direct your gaze to the brave stature of Dark Team of the Destruction? Okay, that was all you had to say. Hey! Right. Bye. How about was it was a good talking. <laughs> you didn't shove green stuff in your mouth. You're not interesting to me. How about it, Mekon? Have you found out anything by now? <laughs> to tell you the truth, it's been very inconclusive. It's not my fault. This music venue is just too hot. Because of the heat, I can't estimate the time of death. Because of the heat? Is that possible? If a body is over... Because of the heat. If a body is overexposed to heat or cold, you won't be able to determine a precise time of death. I see. That might have been the killer's goal. They covered up their time of death by using the heater to make the inside of the music venue hot. That's weird. Even if this heat is the killer's doing, is there any reason for them to cover up the time of death? I agree. As long as I saw it, it should be clear what order the murders occurred. First was Ibuki, then Hiyoko. And as long as this is an imitation murder, there shouldn't be any mistake in the order of the murders. Huh? Imitation murder? Excuse me? What? Im huh? Im you don't know, Hajime. I thought everyone already knew. It's a murder where the killer uses a creative work like a song or a film. <coughs> mm. I still had some of that stuff in my mouth. As an outline for their killings. You're addicted. It's so common in detective novels, mangas, and video games that you start to get annoyed by it. How would an imitation murder be related to this murder? Well, based on the killing order and the way they were killed, it's clearly an imitation of that movie. That movie? I don't know. <sighs> <laughs> the assumption is that the imitation murder the reason killed the killed two people. The goal was an imitation killer. Even so, why did they feel the need to do something like that? Excuse me, if this was really an imitation of that movie. Then is it possible that one more person might have been killed? It's certainly conceivable, if the killer wishes to complete the imitation. Hold on a sec! What are you all talking about? An imitation murder? One more person might have been killed? Oh, you guys worried there's gonna be another victim, and no worries! Things would get out of hand too fast if a bunch of people could be killed at once! Is this a new rule? I'm a real cautious fella, so I prepared a perfect countermeasure. Ahem. On this killing school trip, the same blackens can only kill a maximum of two people. And then just, <laughs> this is the point where just like, Mekon or Kazuichi or someone just goes, Bullshit, I already did, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you've added another rule? If killing everyone at once is okay, the Blackened will be able to secure an easy victory, right? This new rule will prevent that. Make sure you slam it into your tiny brains! If it is a maximum of two people, then there will not be any more killings. Since you're here anyway, can I ask you one more thing? 
You know, I just want to confirm one of the class trial rules. I see, I see! As expected of you, you're very strict about games. I don't want to consider this possibility at all, and I don't even want to think someone would do this. If two cases occur at once, what happens if there are two killers? Eh? Like I said, I'm talking about the possibility that Ibuki and Hyoko were killed by two different people. Hey Max, she's addressing your qu she's addressing your question. <laughs> Good. That would mean um, that two killers exist at the same time, but we can only vote for one person, right? If we can only choose one based on a majority vote, the other person could certainly achieve victory. Yeah, you're right. So what happens in that case? What about a case where there's three incidents instead of two, or four incidents overlap one another? Shut up! It's okay. I'll make extra sure something like that never happens. You could just make a rule that you we do the class trials one by one or something. Meaning two killers can't exist at the same time, so it's safe to say that applies to this case too, right? Ugh. All right, fine, fine. That's right. There's always one killer at any given time. Even if they had an accomplice, I'd have you figure out who the mastermind is. Man, I ended up giving you a huge hint. She made me say it. Gamer brains are not to be underestimated. I should just shut up and go back to my cave. Yeah, that... Your brains aren't to be underestimated, Max. <laughs> it, it usually isn't. <laughs> I see. So there's no possibility. I mean, sometimes the character is underestimate you, so. so. There's no possibility for two killers to exist at the same time. With this, I guess that narrows things down a little. Yep, that makes things a little easier. Plus, if the same killer can kill a maximum of two people, it means a third victim would be impossible. Imitation murder breakthrough. You guys keep saying that, and it sounds strange to me. What do you guys mean by imitation? Uh, could it be? You haven't seen it. Seen it? Seriously, seen what? Like I said, that movie. When we first explored this island, Monokuma was passing out invitation tickets. Oh, right. Uh... The one that we, like, went into, like, a million dollar debt or something to avoid watching. Yeah. And then Nagito came out of the theater and was like, I wish I was dead after seeing that. <laughs> the imitation is... Of course. It's an imitation of that money. Well, based on the murders at the time, it closely resembles that movie, as if they were copying it. As if they copied the movie? I see. Nagito mentioned something about that. I'm going to the theater. 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 I see. So you haven't seen it. Still, it's not too late, I think. It's probably a good idea if you watch that movie before the class trial starts. Looks like I need to do that. Then I should get going, too. There are other places I want to investigate. Where do you intend to go next, Chiaki? Probably the hospital, for sure. The first victim, Ibuki, was there. I don't know what was going on at the hospital in the first place. Thanks to that despair disease, we could not go there for some time. She's right. Might be good for me to investigate the hospital, too. There might be some clues related to Ibuki's death. For clues related to Hyoko's death, I should try going over to the motel. Still a lot of things I could do before the class trial. Definitely give it my all until the end. So three places to go. All the other places on this island. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm imagining it's it's gonna want us to do all three of them before pro uh, it progresses. Anything to look at around here? Yeah. Let's take a look at this. I see nothing. 
Actually, yeah, here's a thought. Considering the doors. Here's a bright idea. Uh, not a bright idea, it's just... What if the drumsticks were placed there and the goop was actually what was holding the door closed? Hmm. Possibly, but that still raises the question of how why, how the drumstick was there. Broke it, placed it by the door. Oh, that's what you... Oh! So, like, they broke it, put it down to make it look like the drumstick had been holding the door closed, and then sealed it shut from the outside with the goop. Yes. Ooh, I didn't think of that. Hmm. I could see, I could see that being the case. Still have no idea what the hell the goop is. Could it be gelatin or something? Hopefully it's something not poisonous. Alright, uh... Poison. I'm pretty sure Monokuma would have to save it, save her because... Hey, two murders at a time. Well, would it be a murder at that point? Okay, so... That's... It would still be the cause of the killer's actions, so... Okay, so... Chiaki and Kazuichi at the hospital. Nagito at the movie theater. Electric Avenue is not in use. And then we have Fuyuhiko and Gundam at the motel. We're outside the music venue, so I'm thinking we'll just go right, and we'll just keep going right until we've checked out the, th the three places. Okay. Be sure to keep checking your pet. Yep, I know. We haven't actually walked around yet, so... This is actually the first time there's, there's a chance of there being anything. Monokuma approves, I guess. I just remembered, I never went inside any of the rooms in the motel. Plus, I don't even know where Hyoko's room is. Might be faster to just ask someone. You're here, right? Come on out. Huh? Are you talking to me? I can see you. Did you really think you could hide your presence like that? I wasn't trying to hide in the first place. Hey, which room <laughs> was Hyoko staying in? Open the door to the center room. However, are you prepared? Make sure you pray to whatever god you hold dear, and you might want to bring an extra pair of underwear. <laughs> wonder, how does this guy talk to his parents and teachers? <laughs> Fuyuhiko, do you have anything saner to say? Hey, Hajime, can you explain it to me again? What happened when you first discovered Ibuki's body? It was the same as when I found it with you guys. Ibuki's body was hanging from the baton lightning. However, there was no body discovery announcement made. That's why I went to get you guys. I met up with Chiaki at this motel, and when we were about to go back to the music venue, I met up with Mikan and me. And when we went back to the music venue, the entrance door wouldn't open for some reason. We had no choice but to break down the door, and discovered Yoko's body was suddenly there too. Yeah, that's what happened. This is the most important part. When you arrived at the motel, who else saw you besides Chiaki? Um, as I recall... Body was found. Yeah. Besides Chiaki, I also saw Gundam and Monami. I see. So Kazuichi and Sonya didn't appear, huh? You think those two are suspicious? Well, Yoko was killed. Between the time you saw Buki's body and when we broke down the door, right? So obviously those two are the most suspicious since they weren't with us. That, that might be it, but... While we're at it, let me tell you my alibi too. When the morning Monokuma announcement woke me up, I went straight to the hospital. I saw Mikan panicking in front of the hospital. I asked her what's going on, she said Ibuki disappeared. So you guys split up and looked for Ibuki, huh? When we are circling the island, we came to the motel and saw you guys there. Did you see anyone else while you circled the island? No, we went to the movie theater and that street full of machines to look for Ibuki, but we didn't see anyone. Are you implying I don't have an alibi because I didn't run into anyone? It's unreasonable for you to doubt me. The time that Mikan and I were on our own looking for Ibuki wasn't very long. In that short time, there's no way I could have killed Yoku and wrapped her around the pillow with duct tape. And it's true, I feel like there wasn't enough time to do that after I left the music venue. But the fact is, Yoku was killed and we did discover her body. What, do you still doubt me? Well, I'm used to it. 
It's true I've done things that I deserve to be doubted for. So don't worry. Even if you doubt me, I don't plan on dismembering you and encasing you in concrete. Oh, what? I'd want no. to know. What, I'd want to know in advance what I'd have to do to end up like that. Obviously, so we can avoid it, right? Uh, don't kink shame him. Oh, jeez. Yoko's room. It's like it's I mean, room. at least it's not as bad as the people who are into like. What was that one creepy thing? Crush porn? Like literally getting crushed by like a. Yeah. Watching animals get crushed. Yeah. I could have. I could have lived without knowing that was a thing. <laughs> hey, at least you didn't watch it on accident. He was inside her kimono. Maybe if I use this. It opened. Just as I thought, this key was Yoko's room key. Alright, I should go inside. I wonder if she had time to personalize it like she did her, her cottage. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Well, it's a motel room. You typically don't personalize it. Yeah, but also, you're like... <laughs> we're we're kind of like stuck on this island for an indeterminate amount of time, so who knows. So Hyoko was staying here. She only stayed here a few nights, so it doesn't really feel like her room, but... I feel a little conflicted. Jesus! Boing! Huh? Did the door open? Yeah, Hyoko put the key in her kimono, so I used that to open it. I see. What? Did something happen? No, it is just... I'm starting to believe it might be my fault. Her fault? What does she mean? Alright, uh... Aha! Sting. Meanwhile, we still haven't used any of those. I mean, we're kind of good on gifts right now. Alright. Is a there a mirror to look at, or the bed, maybe? I'll check the bed. The bed isn't messed up. It doesn't look like she was abducted in her sleep. There's a mirror, but it's so small and rusty. There's no way anyone can use this. The moment Hyoko came to this motel, she completely shut herself in this room. She was afraid of the despair disease, so she was cautious of you guys too, right? However, her fear of the disease was not the only reason she locked herself in her room. She had another reason. Besides that disease, what other reason would make her lock herself in her room? Her kimono. Her kimono? Um, yesterday I went to go talk to her. Since she had been in her room for some time, I told her it might be good for her to go outside for a bit. She kept the door to her room locked, but by coincidence, it was not locked at that time. And then I saw it. Yoko was crying and struggling with her kimono sash. She did not want to smell bad, so she took a shower, but then she could not tie her sash anymore. Mahiru is no longer with us, so I believe she was having trouble with it. She didn't leave her room because she couldn't tie her kimono, huh? The others might have thought it was just a silly sash, but it must have been a serious issue for her. Hyoko told me that she learned how to tie her sash from Mihiru. That Mihiru kindly taught her the basics. That's why she wanted to be able to tie her sash on her own. She probably could not forgive herself for not being able to do it, especially since Mihiru taught her. I... I could not really understand her feelings, which is why I said what I did. What did you say? Yoko, by chance, are you having trouble wearing your kimono? I didn't think I'd have to use her voice again. <laughs> Stupid, what are you saying? Of, of course I can do it. Because Mahiro taught me. That's, that's why I can do it on my own. Um, if that is the case, how about you do it someplace where there is a mirror? Do you remember the full-length mirror in the storage room at the music venue? If you do it while standing in front of a large mirror, I am confident you will be successful. Also, 
Shutting yourself in your room like this may be bad for your health. Can I do an objection here? What? How does standing in a mirror help you tie something behind your back? Turn around and look over your shoulder. Eh, that's decently hard for some people. It's it's still better than not being able to see back there whatsoever. I guess. And that was when she kicked me out. Could it be... Hyoko remembered that? Are you saying she went to the music venue to wear her kimono? I can see that happening. Hyoko locked her room and made sure she put the room key inside her kimono. I can't imagine that she was abducted by someone. If so, that's weird. Hey, did you tell anyone about that before the incident? Or was someone listening in on your conversation? I never told this to anyone, and I do not believe anyone was listening in on our conversation. Nobody knew. If that's the case, how did the killer know Hyoko was going to the music venue? Something's wrong. I've got thoughts. Okay. I don't see anything else that looks suspicious. There's no sign that someone made a mess of her room, and I don't think she was forcefully abducted. I feel like I couldn't really find any important clue. Oh well. Do right. you think this is one of those times where someone walked in on the killer and they had to do a desperate thing? That's exactly what I'm thinking. Plus, it would make a, it would also uh, work out for the fact that Hyoko was killed and her blood ended up getting on things. And people keep saying Hyoko was killed afterwards, and I'm thinking, no, maybe Hyoko was killed before or at the same time. And then the killer just didn't set their body up until that short period of time, because... <sighs> I feel like within a 10 minute time period, you would have been able to tape a body up haphazardly like that. Alright, let's see if I can look into anywhere else around here though. Also, I'm I'm still constantly trying to find like the last Monokuma. Or Mexicuma. Right now I'm rusted and running car sound abandoned. We'll start up if I keep staring at it. It's like it's not a clue to the incident. I'm actually going to do something real quick. I'm just going back here to check something. Oh, god damn it! I wanted to go in and check if I if I was still missing one of the Mexicumas. 